Hello everyone, Amos here, walking around the campus of UT, and it's a fantastic snow day, isn't it, Will? Oh god, yes! Oh god! Oh, we're all gonna die! Look at this white demon falling from the sky! We're all dead! Everyone's dead! I can't take it anymore! I think all my friends, all my family, they're all dead! Man. So anyway, uh, as I was walking around, I was wondering, so why does some snow pack and other snow kind of just blow around in the wind and it turns out the answer is the Boltzmann energy distribution so you have something uh, that's a normal distribution of temperatures that all the molecules take and when you have snow that's close to 32 Fahrenheit uh, you have some of the snow is actually in liquid form and that flows in between the crystals and then the adhesive forces hold it together when you have some snow that is uh, very cold though, when you get down closer to the uh, negative uh, 5 degrees, then your distribution is uh, so far below the freezing point that virtually none of the snow is in liquid state at any given time, so it can't stick to itself because the protrusions of the crystals hold it uh, farther apart. At UTK, we do what we so must to survive. Now, of course, you can, if you press hard enough, pack snow that is very cold because even if you had two blocks of ice, if you press on them hard enough, you will temporarily force it back into a liquid state. And then as soon as you remove pressure, it will immediately refreeze. Um, and so you can take two large blocks of ice and just stack them together and push them on them really hard and then it will um, uh, refreeze together. And that's actually um, one of the phenomenon, if you have a ship that was to wreck in the Arctic, it will slowly sink down into the ice because as it presses down on the ice, it melts the point of uh, contact and then that water flows up around the ship and then the ship sinks down a little bit more and now it, the point of contact changes and it just keeps flowing up until it sinks down into the ice and then you can't get it out. Confirmed. The ugly statue is still ugly even in the snow. Keep it recording. At least night helps. <laughs> There's no angle for pros either because it sticks to everything pretty much because it's water. So we have all the snow plastered up on one side of the pole and then nothing on the other just because of the way the wind is blowing. And the snow will continue to grow outwards until you have enough snow to that the tinsel strength can't support itself. Which brings me to a good question. What is the ultimate tinsel strength of snow? And at what temperature does it occur? I don't really want to work that one out, but if you feel so inclined, go for it in the comments. There's one undeniable fact. Nothing will make you feel like a kitty hen, like snow will. Oh yes, and one last thing. If I did get anything in this video wrong, please correct me. See you guys next time.